Um, Parsha's Metzora by itself is a, very, is a rarity. It's on a leap year, but even it's not even every leap year that uh, you have Metzora all by itself. Uh, but this year we have Parsha's Metzora by itself. It gives us a chance to concentrate a little bit on um, some of the inyanim of Parsha's Metzora. Here, the end of the Parsha doesn't talk about Tzoras at all. It talks about other things. Valkeri, Zav, Zava, Nida, Alochus of Tumen Tara, right? And um, the Pasuk says, by a Zav, V'chol asher yigabo azav yadav l'shata b'mayim, um, anything that the Zav touches, and he did not wash his hands in water, so he has to wash his clothes and go to the mikvah and his tummy to the evening. Any person who touches a zav. So we learn from there that the zav, if he didn't go to the mikvah, he makes somebody else tummy. All right? Now, but the Torah doesn't say he goes to the mikvah. The Torah says, Yodav lo shot up a mayim. He didn't rinse his hands in water. What does that mean? So, Rebbe Lazar ben Arach says that is the marker that there's a din of Netil Yudayim. The whole concept of Netil Yudayim that we know before we eat and we take it further before when we get up in the morning and after we come from our Beis HaKvaras and uh, uh, Beis HaKise, the whole idea of, of Netil Yudayim this is the source. Chazal learned de- and derived the concept of the Tilos Yudayim from this passage. It says, Yadav lo shot up a mayim. Chapter Tes Vav Pasuk Yud Aleph. So that's the source for the whole concept of the Tilos Yudayim. Why Dafka here? Why here? Tes Vav Yud Aleph. So. So the 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 um, the the it's, it's a remez from here that you have to that you, there's a concept of Matilas you die. But why here? Why by Zab? Why is it over here that the Torah goes ahead and gives this remez? Rashi gives a different interpretation. Rashi says that the limud of Yada um, Shata Bamaim is you have to go to the mikvah. There's no such thing as just putting your hands in the mikvah. You've got to go to the mikvah. person's got to be complete in the mikvah. But there's a very important halacha. When you go to the mikvah, do you have to go ahead and open your mouth? Or can you close your mouth when you go into the mikvah? The halacha is you can close your mouth, right? Because the, the din is that you only have to have expo- exposed areas be open to the water. But an area that's not exposed, right, says Rashi, that ain't based on storim toem bias mayim. You don't have to worry that water gets in up through your nose and into your ears, right? You don't have to worry about that. That's not your problem. Makam seiter doesn't have to have be a smile. Okay? Mara says it has to be royal be a smile. Not allowed to clench your mouth closed. Right? But you can be in a natural pose of the mouth mouth closed. Right? You don't have to get into have the water get into your mouth. The, you can't close it too tightly, right? But you can, you don't have you can have your mouth closed, you don't have to have the water come in. Now Khara, it's very interesting. Thus, here you've got two opposed, contra- contradictory concepts. Mitzad Achad, you're saying, Tils Yadayim, which is like a tremendous chumrah, goes over and above everything else, right? Tzachini, you're saying, no, it's, it's limiting it. You don't have to go too far. So I think that the Torah here, perhaps, is giving a remez to a very important concept that runs throughout what we do in Yadutin. And that is 
when you think about it, the end of Parshish Mitzorah, Zav, Zava, Nida, Valkari, these are the most private things in life. They're totally private. And yet the Torah says they're halachas about every single thing that is the most individually private, personal issues. The Torah says, no, they're halachas. Because the Torah teaches us over here that a person is very important. A Jew has tremendous importance. Every aspect of your life has a relationship to the way we relate to God, has a connection, has a, is, 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 is involved in the way we connect to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, in the way we relate to Kedusha. There is no such thing as anything private in our lives that's not connected to God. That's what the Torah is teaching. And that's why Chazal learned from here Natilas Yadayim. Because Natilas Yadayim says, be aware Cleanliness is next to godliness. There's Nikius and there's Tara and all these things. Chazal said, be aware that maybe you touch something, therefore you should clean your hands. Way before the, the, the signs went up in the restrooms that every employee has to wash their hands when they leave the restroom, the Torah was on top of it thousands of years ago. The Torah is saying, you be aware of cleanliness. Be aware of Tara. Be aware of all the aspects Physical and spiritual cleanliness. That's where you learn. So you learn it from Zav because from you see from the personal matters of life, there's a connection to God. So therefore, every way, everything that you do, every step you take, you've got to be involved. You've got to recognize how does this have an influence on my life? The tells you dying. Mitzad Shani, so I can't live. So says, no. You do the steps that are natural. You only have to have bias mayim in the places that it's natural for water to come to. Base a star in, you don't have to swallow the water, suck it in through your nose, pump it into your ears. No, 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 no. Things, do it naturally. Take natural steps. Be aware. And step by step, being normal, natural, you build up your relationship with Hashem. That's Yadut. Yadut is a recognition of every detail, but being normal, being natural. We're not Meshuga. We work step by step. We do what we can and build. Torah tells us what we can. Torah gives us demands. It's what we have to do. But the Torah gives it it could be a match. Could be normal. But by being aware, that being normal is built up to becoming a special person. That's the lesson of the Torah. Chaps. Mm-hmm.